Hello, denture peeps. So it's been a long time since I talked about the dangers of wearing loose dentures and gobs of adhesive. So I thought I'd make this controversial post today and reiterate. I am seeing a lot of uh, content creators on here in the denture world and uh, talking about adhesives and uh, different products that they're using to keep their dentures in. So let me just start off by saying, when you get immediate dentures, your mouth is constantly changing and the dentures are gonna get loose and they're gonna get looser and they're gonna get looser and you really have to do what you have to do within that first six months to keep the dentures in your mouth. So, you know what, no holds barred. Get yourself some uh, Fixident, some Polydent, some Cushion Grip, some Dentach, some any of those things, Dr. B's. I don't really have a favorite product because each product works differently for different patients in that six months. Do what you got to do. Okay. But let's talk about after six months when you get your permanent dentures. I see some uh, content creators on here that are showing how they're loading up their dentures with uh, Fixident uh, paste and then powder and you know, it's the, the denture cement and all of that. And you know, some patients have severe bone loss and they rely on adhesive to keep their denture in, especially that lower denture, because this is where you get the bone loss. Bone loss. Let's talk about bone loss, okay? So in the body, the bone in our jaw and in our head, okay, this is made out of spongy bone. And as the name states, that means on a molecular level, the structure of that bone is like a sponge, you know, like lattice, okay? It is uh, easily broken down. It is different than like the bones of our arms. These are long bones, they're very dense, they're much more solid than this bone. So when you wear loose dentures or when you eat without dentures or if you wear dentures that are ill-fitting and you're loading them up with gobs of adhesive to keep them glued in, those dentures are moving against your bone. You know, even though there's glue in them, they're moving and moving and moving as you chew and they are eroding that bone. So when I see patients in my practice who have been wearing loose, ill-fitting dentures and relying on adhesive to hold those dentures in, and I'm talking gobs of adhesive, loose dentures, gobs of adhesive, not a well-fitting denture with a little bit of adhesive, but a too loose denture that has, you know, been worn for years and their gums have shrunk and it's way too big and they're securing it with a bunch of adhesive, that is wearing down their bones, okay? So I see some of the creators on here who are pretty darn young and, you know, I'm 53 and I still think I'm pretty young, but most of you are younger than me. Um, life is short, they say, but it's also very long. Um, dentures get very, very difficult to wear when you have no bone structure. So I just want to remind you, and I know that there are all kinds of factors, finances, access to care. I understand all of that, but you really need to prioritize however you can getting those dentures relined when they are loose uh, and getting new dentures after five to seven years because when you're wearing loose dentures and you're putting gobs of adhesive in your dentures you're going to break your bones down and you know in 10 years you're going to have no bones in five years you're going to have no bones and you're not going to be able to keep that denture in your mouth it is uh, it's an awful awful picture please don't make that mistake i know it's unpopular opinion I'm a denturist and uh, I feel like it's my responsibility to tell you. Okay, have a great day.